Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing Urban Legends from Texas. The first urban legend is Marfa Lights. In the tiny West Texas town of Marfa, outpost Route 67, many people have reported seeing the eerie lights in the sky. The lights show up randomly and may act oddly, splitting into two lights or merging into one. Witnesses have suggested many theories of their origin, from car lights to fires to aliens and disembodied spirits. Some scientists have suggested the lights are the result of glowing gases. The next urban legend is Haunted Lighthouse. What could be spookier than a haunted house? Than a haunted lighthouse. Several stories surround the dreary black lighthouse at the end of Bolivar Peninsula. The creepiest is one that claims the lighthouse, which used to guide ships into the port of Galveston, is haunted by the spirit of a crazed teen who murdered his own parents. There is no local history to back up the urban legend. It was probably fueled by teenagers who wild away the small town of Texas boredom by daring each other to go inside. The next urban legend is Bexar County Hospital. According to legend, a murderous apparition went from room to room at the old Bexar County Hospital, killing patients in order of their room number. In one particular ward that seemed to be the hot spot, Patients kept asking about the nurse in the old-fashioned uniform. Bewildered, hospital staff checked the security monitors and noticed patients behaving strangely, seemingly speaking to someone who wasn't there, or grasping for something when nothing was in front of them. The staff became more suspicious when the patient started dying in room number order. The deaths ended up when the next room in the sequence was vacant. Sadly, San Antonio had a very real angel of death in their midst of Bexar County Hospital in the form of Janine Jones, who was convicted of poisoning somewhere between 11 and 50 infants between 1977 and 1982. She is currently serving a life sentence at the Dr. Lane Murray Unit in Gatsville, Texas. The next urban legend is Camp Lula Sam. Just outside Brownsville sits the abandoned site of an old girls' camp. The story told by locals is that the camp was closed after one of the counselors went insane and murdered several of the girls. The legend claims the ghostly sounds of children crying can be heard from the property at night. Local history doesn't back up the story, though, and the camp in the legend probably refers to the nearby defunct Girl Scout camp, Camp Lula Sam which is currently the focus of a conservation effort. The next urban legend is Century Theater. This old theater house in Corpus Christi is reportedly haunted by the ghost of an usher. The usher is said to have been stabbed to death by a jealous boyfriend shortly after the theater's opening in 1942. The theater still stands today and is used for wrestling events and concerts. Just look out for the shadowy figures lurking in the corner. The next urban legend is Screaming Bridge. In February of 1961, a car full of teenage girls leaving a movie plunged off a burned out bridge in Arlington. This real life tragedy created an urban legend involving a fiery crash between two cars. It said, that if you stand on the bridge at night, you'll hear the tormented screams of the teenagers as they died. Assessing the screaming bridge isn't easy because the roads leading to it have been blocked off for years, and it's only accessible by foot through a nearby park. The next urban legend is White Rock Lake. White Rock Lake in the northeast Dallas comes with a very spooky and familiar ghost story. Travelers along East Lothar Drive have claimed to have spotted a drenched young woman who asks folks for a ride home. She tells her rescuers she lives on Gaston Avenue, yet before they arrive at the destination, she disappears from the car entirely, 
Leave it behind a very wet car seat and a terrified driver. The next urban legend is the crying girl. Natives of Helling, Harlingen, Texas can tell you all about the little apparition who haunts Matt Street. Locals claim that the girl wanders up and down the street, sobbing into her hands. When approached, she is unresponsive, but will sometimes peer up at her would-be Good Samaritan before mysteriously vanishing before their eyes. The next urban legend is Ghostly Children of San Antonio. The train tracks at the intersection of Shane and Villamain in South San Antonio are well known to locals for a gruesome legend. The story goes that a school bus full of children stalled on the tracks. When the train rounded the bend, it could not stop in time. All the children were killed. According to legend, if you park your car on the tracks and put it in neutral, the ghostly children will push your car to safety. Some even claim to have found, ch found children's handprints in the dust on their bumpers. The last urban legend is Thompson Island Bridge. The Thompson Island Bridge in San Marcos, Texas, is said to be haunted by the ghost of a Confederate soldier. Locals have reported seeing the man in uniform with a rifle over his shoulder. The legend says that he generally shows up before, before or during a war. The story goes that the soldier made a promise to his brother before they both left to fight in the Civil War, that he would return home no matter what. San Marcos is a short drive south of Austin in case you're wanting to stop in on your next trip. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and turn the bell notification on so you know when I post. And let me know which story was the creepiest, creepiest, scariest, or if you'll ever visit these places. Let me know down below. Bye-bye for now. Oh. <gasps>